Good afternoon. What a storm. Much of the state is covered in snow today, including a large part of the metro area, and it certainly made for an interesting morning commute out on the roads. Here's Kim Baez with more. Hi, Kim. Hi, the roads were littered with accidents this morning, and as many drivers learned, the bridges were especially dicey. The driver of this Dodge Charger came around the corner of I-25 near Broadway on that bridge a little too fast. Somehow she managed to avoid the guardrail, but it took her a little too long to get her composure. The next thing you know, another driver got surprised and ended up slamming right into her. While the airbag in the silver car deployed, neither driver was seriously hurt. The icy roads also got the best of two other drivers on the same stretch of I-25. Well, most of Albuquerque got just a dusting. Farther south in Valencia County, a couple inches fell. That translated into some very icy roads down there as well. Drivers really had to slow down on the on-ramp to I-25 in Los Chavez. The driver of one truck did slide off the road there. And the driver of this car took the curve of the on-ramp a little too fast and slid off the embankment. She needed a tow truck to get her out. The situation was similar on the roads across the Albuquerque area. The heights were especially tricky to maneuver, but there were no major accidents. But the big winner from the storm was definitely the mountains. Even the East Mountains got a significant hit. About five inches fell through the Tijeras area. The roads were slick this morning, but there were no accidents. In most areas, the roads are already looking much better. Road crews have been out and busy all morning, and the sun is already coming out. Back to you. All right, good to know, Kim. Thank you. By the way, the State Transportation Department is reporting difficult driving conditions across the state. For updated information, you can call the New Mexico Road Conditions Hotline at 511. You can find a link to that state website on our website, krqe.com.